Today we honor the men and women who bravely fought in our armed forces. KMIR 6's Jessica Flores went to a Veterans Day celebration where history came to life. A day honoring veterans, a moment to remember sacrifices, and for some, a time to reunite with old friends. 90-year-old Max Schwartz came to the celebration at the General Patton Memorial Museum, hoping to meet other World War II veterans. I have a file of about 50 folders that I kept up with, but one by one they passed away. A war fading in the memories now being brought to life. President Franklin D. Roosevelt rolling in, men and women dressed in World War II uniforms, and Second World War tanks now transporting the crowd back in time. So much is the memory of the sacrifices that were done, and I think that's the biggest thing, is they don't want people to forget what gave us what we have today. To really bring home the sacrifices made in World War II, these reenactors are showing what life was like on the front lines of Normandy. Enemy fire, a heated battle, and finally the German surrender. Get your weapons. Just a peek into the past. Drop that pistol. It's very special to me. I served uh, 11 years active in the Marines, and I brought my children to come and see the reenactment. Do you think about what your dad went through? And oh yeah, every day. <laughs> Who's to say where, whether we would even be standing here today had they not served their country so valiantly? Schwartz fought the Germans in Normandy, one of the few men still alive to talk about it. The Third Army experience has always been in my mind. He's sharing his story to younger generations. I hope they identify with me. Understand. And although he didn't meet any fellow World War II veterans on this day, he's hoping their collective story lives on. Jessica Flores, KMIR 6 News.